today is Friday the 24th of March and it actually started off as a, as a pretty clear day. The clouds are starting to come in now, but about an hour or two ago it was, it was clear. I've decided today I'm going to work outside because it's not so hot. Um, let me show you guys quickly what's going on with this potential cyclone. Right now we're looking at the Australian Government Bureau of Meteorology website. I'll put a link in the description below. In the top northeast corner here is the state of Queensland and just out to sea about 500 to 800 kilometers out there is this very very big storm. This isn't a cyclone yet it's just a big storm but according to the weatherman there's a high chance of it turning into a cyclone tomorrow. They reckon once this becomes a cyclone it's going to track south for about a day and then it will start to move west and make landfall. They suspect it's going to make landfall anywhere between Cairns over here and Mackay over here. <laughs> right now I'm in Townsville which is here so there's a, there's a good chance that we're going to cop some of it. At this stage it hasn't turned into a cyclone so everything that they've said is all based on um, their weather models and their forecasts but if it does turn into one we should expect to see it around Sunday night maybe Monday morning. With all that in mind I need to head out today and get some supplies. Um, everyone that I've spoken to has said don't wait until the last minute because the shelves will be empty and if they aren't it's just going to be chaos in the stores. So it's still the working week now so I'll shoot out, uh, get in there before the rush and that way we'll be ready um, just in case it does hit. Everybody is out in force at the hardware store getting some torches. I've got a couple more things to go and uh, and I'll be heading home. Back home, I've got some heavy duty leather gloves, matches, fire lighters in case the power goes out and we need to cook things. I've got a small torch and I just bought one of these big ones with the sort of lamp style globe. And then I've got some spare rechargeable batteries for them so I can use these in the future. On top of that, I got a clock radio. This one's powered by batteries as well as um, AC so if the power goes out we can at least have uh, a radio to try and find out what's going on. Next is off to the grocery store to buy some tin goods and some bottled water. Just go back from the store enough supplies, bottled water over there, and of course cereal, because let's be fair, all you really need to survive is cereal. They've just released some more satellite imagery of the storm out at sea, and you can see this thing is just gigantic. Here's the coastline down here, and I'm over there at the moment. Um, I've read one article that said it's gonna hit somewhere between Cairns and Townsville, so it seems to be the, the area that it's going to make landfall seems to be shrinking so they're obviously getting more and more confident about where it's going to happen. Well today's vlog has had nothing to do with making or woodworking so I thought I'd continue that theme and take you guys on the run that I do every day with my dog down to the river. <laughs> baby. Now with the warm up, now it's time for the Okay, here's number two. 
Yes. 